The two best mid laners in the world went head to head in solo queue this week. We have Knight on Zoe up against Chovy on Rise. If you want to debate me on if these are the two best mids in the world, come at me. I think that Knight, I think Chovy are the best mids in the world. I'm sorry, Faker. I know your team's on a 14 game win streak, but you're a leader, you know? You're um, the comms of the team. He's not playing badly, but I think that individually, these players we're seeing here are better. And they've gone head to head. Chovy, of course, with the tank Rise. A little bit of a tidbit is Rise is getting a little mini rework again. Um, they're going to try and divide his build. They're going to split, take away from his build path from building tank. They want to make him build AP again. Fair enough. Tank Rise is bullshit. And then he has a 45% win rate in solo queues. So like, Rise. It's so funny to see Riot Games try and solve this Rise problem. Chovy getting the shove. Who's going to be up on CS, you reckon? I think that Chovy normally averages more CS than Knight. Knight is ready and down to take like a little bit of riskier, like 55-45 skirmishes in his favor. Chovy will take like 60-40, 65-35s. And then if it's not like that, he'll just opt for the farm and then... With the farm, he'll build his items and hit a mid-game spike. It's interesting to see the risk appetite of different mid laners, where someone like Rookie is just all in, and then someone like Chovy, pretty low, pretty minimal. Faker as well, Bjergsen, pretty low. Plays like that. You can see Chovy gets the shove in, gets the TP back, and Knight is stuck here. So this game, like these two mid laners are world class. You're not going to see them solo kill each other back to back. But what you are going to learn here is a lot of mid lane fundament fundamentals of how the perfect mid laners play. Um, so you're like, a lot of the time it's back timings, it's back stoppages, um, it's kind of like drawing waves and how they yeah, shove. It's small things mate, like this mouth, yeah. and their trading patterns that... Oh, the bubble goes wide. That you need to take a note of and then slowly implement it in your own games. Look at the Leona popping through, pops the Ignite, you're going to weave his auto attacks through. Leona, E goes wide, flash from the rise. No flash till 845 against a Rek'Sai Leona. Should be a free kill as Volibear is trapped. Bubble lands. That blue buff would be so scrumptious if we can get it. Leona, are you serious? Chovy going to bounce back, gets the blue and the kill. And you have to say that's worth for Chovy. Knight now has no mana. Chovy... Knight got the assist, but Chovy got the kill, and he has blue buff. So now Knight is stuffed. As soon as you see this, guys, thought process is this. Chovy looks at Knight. He says he has no mana. I will not allow him to base. Chovy will permanently shove these waves, stopping Knight from basing and spending. Knight will continuously get shoved in until he has to take a bad base, base and then Chovy will hard shove it, and miss. Knight will miss one full wave. And that's the advantage, you know? Small advantages like that will build up over game. And we're stuffed. We're gonna have to take a bad base. Normally you could you would just spam ping for your jungler to try and help you push these waves out. But Rek'Sai's busy top. And we're just gonna have to try and brute force survive it on our own. Yeah. And a little bit of drama. I'm interested to see what you guys think. Faker this week got very tilted in solo queue at a Chinese uh, pro player. He hard tilted in his game and he went 0-16 in Faker's game. And Faker said, this is the problem with Korean solo queue at the moment. There's a lot of the, the LPL and the Chinese players that kind of grief him or grief in general in solo queue. And Faker wants answers, he wants solutions. And then now obviously the LPL is like, or China is like, you're just grouping the entire league off one player like but then everyone's bouncing back with with examples and all this type of stuff crazy drama you know when faker blows up it's a big deal and i'm wondering to see what they what they can do it's just behavioral issues issues which is not uncommon i just think that because faker demands it doesn't demand but expects people to be making solo queue the utmost training like um like to make korean solo queue so competitive and people trolling it and making it so practice is bad, he's not going to accept it and he wants answers. So, you can kind of understand it. I'm sure NA players see it and be like, um, we get this every day, but I guess NA has Champions Q now. And EU just left out on their own. Absolutely crazy server as we finally get the base. 51 CS at 6, not too shabby. I'm guessing Chovy has about... Chovy's at 57. Yeah, 
So he has a full wave advantage of CS. As Chovy gets the roam to the top lane, gets the assist. And that's the problem with, that's the problem with a good rise. They're all over the map, and you notice when you play against Chovy here, guys. There's no opportunity. The opportunity is your team helping you, but in a solo queue sense, like a solo kill sense, where is the opportunity to get a kill? So sometimes you feel helpless, and then he steams all the game. You can do everything right, but you still don't get the advantage. And against against a, like a the best laner in the world, that's just the that's just how it's going to happen sometimes. Obviously, you guys in silver or gold averages. There's so many opportunities for you guys to get the kills. As we greed for the E, the bubble doesn't land, and we don't get the goodie bag. Knight on a six game winning streak in the LPL looking to be probably the top I think V5 so that's Rookie's team is doing a little bit better um, but Weebu Gaming doing as well, doing very well as well but top esports six game winning streak they got of course Jackie Love world champ crazy team really aggressive and Ryze gets the shove and then moves through to the bot lane Knight finally so you have an option here Either shove, lane, uh, shove mid and get played to roam bot. And Knight has amp opted to roam bot. And this is going to be good. Predator on the ground. Has all sums. Q. Just runs it through. Pops the ignite onto Chovy. Gets the double. Looking for the triple. Predator. Triple kill now. And that's what we've finally been waiting for. But that's what all this patience has finally paid off. He's going to be so massive here, guys. He low-key kind of wants to stay, you can tell, for Ludens. Yep. You've always got to be thinking about your next item, your next base, how much gold you need. Don't back, just... He just stays there. Like, there's no reason. You don't have to base. You're going to have a slight window in the game. Albeit a little bit risky, but it should be fine. There you go. 10 CS per minute, Luden's going to be picked up. Problem is, you can't count Chovy out. I'm wanting to see what is... Is Chovy keeping up on CS? Surely. Luden's done. Pink ward. Sweeper. And Chovy still has the CS lead. That is ridiculous. Hey, so quiet, hey, so. Looks like he's is he he wants lucidity boots. Interesting. I don't like pairing lucidity boots with um, Ludens because you want the double flat pen. Bubble lands on Blitzcrank, and we have no flash. We got to be a little bit cautious for the Blitz. I don't know how they stream in gaming rooms. I would not be able to focus. I guess noise canceling headphones. Hashtag ad. As we. Are always reacting here. Got to react up to the Chovy's plays. The bit rate goes crazy. Chovy gets the dive, and we're going to be a little bit. Oh, you could get a bubble through here. Let's see what happens. Q lands bubble lands. Pumps out of quick Q, looking for the flash now, and then going to try and move through. He wants to like um. Yeah. Oh my God. The whole. Flashes, gets stunned up. Oh my god, I don't know how he lives. That's bullshit. I think Blitzcrank should have waited. Another flash on the ground. And he's gonna... Oh my god. Yes. Got a TP as well. Last second. Still has the flash. Flashes forward, gets the kill. Pops the ignite. Moves through for auto attack. Gonna get the action as well. Five... Double kill. Gets the TP now. Zoe is a brilliant champion. And now he'll be able to TP back. He could TP bot for the farm. Oh my god, he's going to be big. Lucidity boots picked up. Knight is a weird Zoe. He definitely builds these Lucidity more often. Him and Showmaker love the Lucidity boots. 18 flat pen from Sorks, man. As we are on the hunt. No flash. 
Chovy, we found Chovy basing. Warded. Chovy! Chovy! Wake up! Ooh, he's baited it. Did Chovy know the whole time? We've got a huge bounty. Can we live? Uh, We're dead. Uh, Did we get baited there? It was on ward and Chovy didn't react. Hmm. That's a little bit awkward. Coming out of base. We've got the level advantage. Chovy still with the slight CS advantage. God, I love... Dude, Proto? Proto feels so good. Surely, but yeah, yeah. Proto is honestly one of the best drops you can get with Zoe W. It just feels so clean. Even Protobelt Zoe overall is, feels pretty good. It's minor problems as we find the Blitzcrank down. Let's see if we can land anything. Q comes through. Goes wide. Looking for the bubble on the Kai'Sa. Oh. If he landed the E on the Kai'Sa. Rek'Sai Prowler's Claw pinged. Chovy with the hard shove through mid. Over and over again. Really starting to piss Knight off. As you can see, Volibear contesting... The dragon. Let's see. Come on. Bubble. Bubble, 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 bubble. Chovy has Sorks. Sorry, he has Mercs. Look at the movements. Look at him. He knows. <laughs> Go around, big boy. Hey. Uh, hey. Oh. Hey. Get out of there. Yeah, when Ryze gets the Mercs, it's just so hard to see. You can't really see CM. He's a million MS. Yeah. He's just patrolling. Tracking. Not fully committing. And here comes the volley. We're going to have to blow a flash. Flash. Rex size there. Oh, no, be getting no flash down. That's going to be pretty hard to verse against a volley bear. Pick up the sum, sweep in. If you can, sweep her before you put your pink down. A lot of people I see just put their pink down, and then the enemy team sees it's a pink. Especially if it's double pink, and then they know the pink's there. The whole idea of putting a pink down is the enemy team doesn't know it there, it's there, and they, they, they're not, they don't play around it. But if they can see that you've placed a pink there, then they can play around it. They go, this pink, is this, this brush is watered. Obviously... Might not be relevant to your elo. Um, but in the high elos, they're actually pretty bloody switched on with that. You waste... I see so many high elo players, including me. Waste pinks, waste wards, stupid wards, just giving over free gold. If you can't contest a ward, and you put it down, and they just walk up and sweep it, you're just giving... You do realize you're giving them gold and XP, right? And plus, you've paid for it. It's such a scam. Vision is good, but it needs to be smart vision. As Volibear comes through, ignite, we have to move. We try and queue out. Volibear. That's a beautiful game. He's so tanky and fast. Camille's going to come through for Chovy. Chovy going to get Rek'Sai ulted. He's going to drop down. This looks like a pretty good fight for Red Side. You notice that? X flash over. Knock up. Nice job by the team. We start making our way towards the Shadow Flame. Great item. Don't forget Shadow Flame, guys. It's good even against non-shield. I, I see people, they're like, they build Shadow Flame in the same sense that people build Oblivion Orb to stop healing. But Shadow Flame is good even without the shielding, guys. On low health, you're getting the extra penetration and you get at least 10 flat pen. Plus, the stats you get 100 AP is gold efficient regardless. So, it's a much better choice than the Horizon Focus. And it's going to be consistent throughout the game. Now, do be careful. If you go Sorks, Ludens, Shadow Flame, Void, you can overcap in pen and flat pen. So be careful. Because you don't want to overcap if they're all squishy building no MR. And you've just got a, a, a shit ton of flat pen and percent pen. Doesn't happen too often, but you'd think little things to be aware of. On the hunt. On a pink ward there. Surely he saw the pink. Uh. 
Two auto Q. I don't think he saw it. Chovy's found him. And even pro mids, they walk. Even pro mids, guys. Do you know how he could have? He could have. He could have completely changed that scenario. You auto attack move into all brushes. In your head, subconsciously, please do it. Because your character will instantly start ordering. Don't click past the brush. When you're going through a brush, click into it, auto attack move as you arrive. And then keep going on your way. Obviously, if you're running from something or something like that, don't do it. But just in your head, when you're just trolling around the map, please. Little self, little little improvement there. Might help some of you on, the, on your gameplay. As a... Uh, I don't really want to talk about this video, but I think we should get into it. AP Kaisa mid. I, after watching Faker play AP Kaisa mid, I went into solo queue that day on my Masters tier smurf, and I lost 10 games in a row. I demoted to Diamond 2 off of it. It's a little bit troll. He wanted to flash E. Um, now, that's not necessarily saying Kaisa mid is bad AP, is it? Maybe I'm the bad one. I guess we'll never know. I know a lot of you guys are saying, true, you've beaten Dopa. You've beaten Faker. You're not bad. And I do agree. You do have a good point. Shadow Flame can be purchased. Volley Bear. Fuck off, Volley Bear. Yes, Leona. Pop them. Wait a second. Wait a hot minute. These minions are trolling. You can bubble through here. Could he? Ah, wolves! I saw. Oh. You can tell the play he's looking for. Not going to risk it now. Um, bro. We should have ignited. We should have ignited. We should have ignited. And we're dead. Night, night, night. We're getting greedy. Don't. Do not troll against Chovy's Rise. This game is going to go down to the wire. I want to see Chovy CS. He ults in. He has a, how does Chovy get a two level advantage? And Kaisa gets a double kill. Chovy. Look at his items top left. He has almost the stone plate. Has the Fimble winner. And we've got to really turn on here. Coming through. Get the Blitz Crank. Bubble lands. What else can we get? Q. Oh, they block it. Blitz Crank. Korean Blitz Crank. I might just... I'm... <gasps> that was nice. That, that was nice. That was nice. That was nice. What can we get? Camille goes in. Gets the action. I might ban Blitz Crank. W. Lands. Kaisa. And this is a problem. I might be banning Blitzcrank for my whole Korean trip. I, I remember from my last Korean trip, I've done three of them. Traumatized. Korean Blitzcranks don't miss. And they love to ARAM in Korea. As Ezreal comes through with the ult. 5-5. I don't know what that means. 5-5, five, five, please. Ah, 5-5. Five, 5-5. Five. Five, five. My bad. Learn. Jovi has 206 CS. He just pulls CS out of his ass. It's so bullshit. That's the problem with Rise. You're the king in the side lanes, and you have TP, and you have the ultimate. As it looks, there's no way we're going for. There's no way we're going for shh. Horizon focus, no? As we go through. Pops the sweep. Looking for the control. And you can they're just looking for the 5v5. They're just gonna rely on Zoe Bubbles, Ezreal Poke, Leona follow up. That's crank. Can't quite get it. He really wants that Everfrost on the ground. If you're playing against a Zoe guys and there's like a one of these summoners on the ground, the Zoe will pick it up. Trust me, they will. So bait them in with that knowledge. Q. Oh my god, takes Kaiser down to 35%. Blue buff. Sir, can I please have the blue? 
Little pro tip, guys, from around about 22 minutes, try and focus your vision, in my opinion, around the around top side, around the Baron. Unless you're fighting for souls, like you should be shifting your control wards on your vision, depending on whether you're going to be fighting for the Drake or the Baron. And you should be prepping that. See, a lot of people, just they, they just put their pink ward, like let's say, for instance, you're fighting for soul in a minute, and then they put their pink in top side brush. Like, what the hell are you doing? Put it in bot side brush. As here we go for the 5v5. Bubble goes wide. Chovy picks up the Leona. Chovy, look how much health he has. Look at that. that. Okay, that's not balanced. No wonder they're gonna burn it. They're gonna nerf this. As Volibear going absolutely crazy. Kaiser makes the way in. I think Knight does pick up the Volley. No, the Volibear. No, he does. He gets the Volibear. Kaiser drops down. They're going so aggressive here. Gets the tower. You gotta be careful. He wants to go. Goes in. Gets Blitzcrank hooked. And Trevi picks him up. Probably going to get that Kimmel as well. Not quite. Oh, yeah. Look at Trevi. Trevi has the stone plate now. This is gross. Goes for the void stuff. Thank you very much, Knight. I was going to be worried if he's going to go for the horizon. Talking about the items. Absolute bullshit. 236. Oh, man. Trevi at Worlds this year. I can't wait. I cannot wait. He's got a team. He's got a squad. He did just recover from COVID. Poke. Hey, sup, please focus. Poke. Can't wait for Korea. Going on Monday, by the way. By the time this video is up, I might have already left. I see, here we go. Coming out now, almost got Void. Probably gonna be one of the last fights. If they can get the... If they can get the Ace into the Nash. The Rizal got cancelled. We're going to move our way through. Q doesn't quite land. And here we go. The 5v5 we're waiting for. Blitzcrank picked up. So many summoners on the ground. It's a Zoe's wet dream if she has them, which she probably doesn't. Uh, I probably deleted that out of the video. And we get Chovy. Bubble. Ooh. Why don't cool down? As they're going to try and pick up the dragon. Pick up the Baron. What Drake is that? Is that third Drake? Me, W. <laughs> my man, my man. Pick up the Nash, and then we look for the ARM. Beautiful macro here. Rek'Sai gets the Drake. And Volibear, you can see him hovering topside. Don't you even think about it, Vol <gasps> Volibear gets it. Are you kidding me? Volibear steals the, steals the Nash away. And that is absolutely horrendous. Bubble, Kaisa, jukes it out. Probably wouldn't chase into it. Dude, that, that volley bear's run through was just so heroic. Steals it away. That, cla that actually clutches it up. Only second dragon, by the way. It's not gonna, there's, no, there's no shot it's gonna go to soul point. Gets the stoppy, all sums. Wish I knew Chinese to translate, honestly. One day. I want to see Chovy's farm here. 26 minutes in. Could be, it honestly could be like 270, 280. The pro player tabs, bro. Like, they just... Good solo by the S. As we sweep through. Looking for... Oh, this is going to be massive. They pick the Kaiser. Shut down. Get the mid lane wave. And look for the shove through. I wonder if you could actually roam maybe topside. Look for the Camille. Look for Chovy with the Camille. Camille has ultimate. Here we go. Chovy ults through. Where is he going to be positioned? Probably could have got the bubble if we were more patient. But we're going to move through. Chovy fully, full tank pretty much. The damages aren't high, but can survive for a long time. Bubble lands. Here we go. Got to land that Q. Q's forward. Has the flash. <laughs> <laughs> the style. The style Zonyas. Are they going to try and run through for the end here? Only Kaisa and action hey, available. Hey, hey, and this action has just been running it. Come on. Yeah, 
Gets the one for one. Kaiser dies. And they're going to run it through for the end. Beautiful game. Two best mids in the world, boys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And... Oh, the Blitzcrank. And I'll see you boys on the next video. Looking forward to when these two verse each other at MSI, hopefully, or Worlds later in the year. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.